Hello golfers, Jess Frank coming to you from the Jess Frank Golf Academy here at the beautiful Deer Creek Golf Club in Deerfield Beach, Florida. Thank you so much for tuning in, subscribing to my channel. And I just want to first, before I start the video, want to um, thank everyone who supports me and the growth of the channel. And I really appreciate all the comments and, and it's wonderful hearing everyone's improvement. So today, how do the shoulders work in the golf swing? I've got a really simple way for you to um, to, to, to do it. Um, to understand uh, the shoulders moving in the swing, I always like to start with standing up. I'm always talking about hold the hands in front of you, turn the shoulders in a circle. So the shoulders move in a circle around your body. Okay. You can see how my hips turn back, my shoulders have moved in a circle, clubs moving in a circle. It's one of my favorite drills. I teach it a lot to people because it really gives them the sensation of a couple different things. Arms straight, how the shoulders move. So a lot of people have a tendency to overturn, over pivot, try to take too much of a backswing, too much of a follow through. And this really goes to show you, you know, the, about the amounts that you can do as well. So you can see that I go through, I always finish into the 90, 90, 90 with the shoulders, the hips and the knees and the arms straight. Cause this is where I'm always preaching for people to hit shots from. You can see as I do this, I'm gonna just turn the shoulders in a circle. You can see how I come through, my right arms across my shoulders. I see so many golfers who lift the club. We won't wanna do that. We wanna work around in a circle. The club's moving in a circle around our body. Remember, we stand to the side of the golf ball. So we're not swinging in a straight line. I'll do it this way too, down the line so you can see me moving around. Just a great drill for, for you to, um, to kind of feel how the shoulders turn. And you have to also understand something. Your shoulders also kind of work independently. You can move your right shoulder by itself. You can move your left shoulder by itself. So there's also that factor that goes in. But, but what I like what I like to do is the down and in and under the chin motion. The down and in under the chin motion also goes along with the tilting, the extending, tilting and turning. So when I take it back, when I take the club back, my shoulder is gonna go down and in and under the chin. So my left shoulder goes down and in and under the chin. I'm not burying my, my chin in my, or in my, um, I'm not burying my shoulder in my chin Okay, I'm going down and in and under the chin, and that gives me a really good backswing. So to start again with the shoulders moving in a circle around your body, right? So if I just, if I'm tilting forward now, and I do the same thing, so my shoulders now, because I'm flex forward, you'll see that down this way. So I'm flex forward. You can see how my shoulders now are still moving in a circle, okay? But they're not, um, they're not tilting way to the left. They're not moving uh, flat or around. Since I'm tilted to the ball, I'm flex forward to the ball, I'm going down and in and under the chin, and then back down and in and under the chin. And you can see this here. That really helps you get the club to swing back where we want it to and, and, and do so many good things too. You know, I talk about the right side bend, right side tilt. So just understanding the shoulders down and in and under the chin, down and in and under the chin. And you can see this, everybody asks and brings up the subject about keeping your head still. How do I keep my head still? Well, the truth of the matter is you don't wanna keep your head still, you wanna keep it centered, you wanna have a centered pivot. Um, there are a couple things with that, is, is the shoulders and how the shoulders move. So the shoulders are gonna move in a circle. You can see as I'm not shifting my weight to the right, the, the shifting the weight to the right moves the head to the right. You can see how it moves in the circle. I see it all the time. Um, so the head on the wall drill is really good here. Um, feeling your spine. All you're doing is you're taking your left shoulder and replacing where your spine was. So down and in and under the chin. This motion right here is always really good. I like to do it like this as well. That puts you in a really good spot. This little split grip drill, take it to the top down and in under the chin, bring the right hand back down. And you can see how I go back and forth in those same directions. So, so when you're hitting balls like that, I always recommend putting it on a tee to begin with anyways, anytime you're working on something. But I'm gonna go ahead and feel that kind of down and in and under the chin. 
uh, motion on both sides. So take a little practice swing down and in and under the chin, down and in and under the chin. We're gonna go ahead and do that and hit the shot. And I'll, I'll tell you what, I mean, that was flush city right there. That was right out of the center of the, the, the club face. So that's a really good drill. So I think building your swing is so important. So many people commented on it. You know, they get off, off track. Um, and so what I love, I love this little, so I started, remember this was, this was kind of like a, a system of events that we did. First thing I did was I held the club up in front of me. I turned my shoulders in a circle. I worked on the 90-90-90 drill right through to here, right? Arms straight, the weight's forward, I'm on a tilt. So there's so many good things right there. 90-90-90, okay. Then we talked about how the shoulders move. We, uh, we did the, you know, the drill with the split grip, down and in and under the chin. Bring the hands down, down and in and under the chin. So you can see, I'm not hitting rapid fire golf balls. I'm doing drills. I'm doing a lot of drills. I'm hitting the ground every time I, I, I take a shot. I'm not, I'm not missing the ground when I swing. That's so important for you guys to understand that when the ball's on the ground, so everything we're doing is we're teaching you how to compress the golf ball, how to hit it farther. And so this drill right here, split grip back, see left shoulder down and in and under the chin, right hand down. And you can see when I finish, my arms are straight. So again, so many good things going on with this drill and what I'm doing. Um, and that's how, you know, you, that's how you want to practice. You want to practice a little, you know, hit one ball, do five drills, hit one ball, do five drills. You don't want to hit ball after ball after ball. Machine gunning balls is not the most important thing, not how you're going to change your pattern. So even here, I'll do the split drip drill down the line. I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, combine that with down and in and under the chin, down and in and under the chin. If I take it back, here's my down and in and under the chin. I got my arms straight. Boom. Every time, down and in and under the chin. So we do that. We understand how our shoulders move in a circle. Let's go ahead and hit another shot. Down and in and under the chin. So two for two, just really hit solid, straight, high you know, probably about 150 yards, seven iron right there, not trying to hit it far, but I'm hitting it solid. And for so many golfers out there, that is the number one fundamental in golf. For every golfer out there, it's the number one fundamental of golf, is hitting the ball solid in the center of the club face. That's the, the little C word, the consistency word, that I've done videos before on it, the consistency video is, too, is, is, is very helpful. But I would say for you, the main thing is let's do this little down and in and under the chin motion. Let's, let's create that drill. Let's do it back here, down and in under chin, bring the right arm down. This is a great drill to do. Back down into impact. So you can see here, right shoulder down and in under the chin. Arms are straight, tilted. So you can see that weight forward. Hips are tucked, arms are straight everything I talk about in every single video. Arm straight, weight forward, the club head is far away from your left shoulder, it's not pulled in, your arms aren't bending, your head's not staying down. Um, just so many positive things that you can do right here. So again, down and in and under the chin. Let's do the drills, let's make little swings, down and in and under the chin. You can see when I finish, I see, you know, the finish is so important. I have videos on the finish. You should look at those as well. But down and in and under the chin, understanding the shoulders moving in a circle, flex forward, they're moving in a circle. So that's the, the tilting motion. Down and in and under the chin. I really can't hit a ball much better than that, really. And that's probably about 155, 160 with a seven iron. I'll take it all day long, dead straight, little draw, hitting the green. So. I really hope this video helps you. Again, I love teaching this game. This, this to me is a passion of mine. I love bringing videos to you, helping you play better golf, hearing it from all over the world, which is phenomenal. I mean, this is what I love. This is really good. So if you have someone that you know is struggling with their game, share the video with them. 
have them subscribe to the channel, have them hit the like button, leave comments, all that good stuff. Again, my name is Jess Frank, been teaching this game for over 20 years. I'm a PGA golf professional, and um, thanks again for watching. We'll see you soon. Have a great day.